Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the distinguishable permutation. So this topic is part of our series about the permutation and combination. Last time, may mga uploaded videos tayo about permutation at yung mga links nila ay nasa ating description box. So, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So, I have here a basic definition para mas madali nyo maintindihan yung, ano, yung distinguishable permutation kasi napakarami na natin topic about permutation. So, when we say distinguishable permutation, it is a permutation with identical elements. So, along the way or along this video, I will be giving you three basic examples. Yung dalawa dun ay uh, words and then the other is word problems. So, let's start. Ito yung formula natin for distinguishable permutation. We have here the permutation, or P is equal to N factorial, hindi po yung galita, that is N factorial over P factorial, R factorial, Q factorial, and so on. So, I will explain kung paano ba siya, or paano siya ginagamit. Pero, punta muna natin to. Ang first example natin is we will try to find the permutation or the number of permutation in the word Adelina. Okay, that is the word Adelina. So let's try here. The word is Adelina. By the way, shout out sa mga taga Adelina wa National High School. At dito ko nagtuturo. Okay, the word is Adelina. So dito, in solving a distinguishable permutation problem, if you have this kind of word, as you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And ibig sabihin niyan, kung meron tayong 7 letters in the word Adelina, it simply means that there are 7 elements sa problem natin. So, ang basic na ginagawa dito ay binibilang mo dapat yung number ng elements na nauulit. And so, for example, paano ko ipapakita sa inyo? You have here your A. Your A is equal to how many A's? 1 and 2. So, you have 2. Tapos, yung letter D naman natin, your letter D is equal to 1. Isa lang siya, di ba? And then, yung letter E, for letter E, you have E is equal to 1. Isa lang din. And then, yung letter L natin, that is only equal to 1. And yung I, your letter I is equal to 1. And lastly, for letter N, that is only equal to 1. Yung A kasi natin, naulit na rito, kaya meron tayo rito ang 2. Ngayon, puntahan na natin yung formula natin. Given this word, to solve the, per, the, number, the number of permutation in the word Adelina, ang gagawin nyo lang naman is that using this formula, the permutation of your n factorial, yung n factorial natin is the number of elements. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Therefore, your n factorial is simply 7 factorial. Okay? So again, 7 factorial. Let me erase this one. And let me correct my uh, writings. Para mas maganda. You have 7 factorial. Sir, how about the denominator? We have P factorial, R factorial, and Q factorial. Ito yung factorials naman ng bawat elements na meron tayo. So let's start with letter A. Yun, siya yung nag-represent ang ating P factorial. So for A, lagi nyo dito, since meron tayong 2 elements, that is equivalent to 2 factorial. And the rest, kung mapansin nyo, that is equivalent to 1 factorial, 1 factorial. Pero, kung 1 factorial yan, hindi nyo na kailangan isulat yan. Bakit po? Kasi ang 1 factorial natin is equivalent to 1. So, walang, wala, siyang, ano, wala siyang changes kung ilalagay pa natin yung 1 factorial. So, para mas mapadali yung ating problem, instead of writing 2 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial, ang gawin na lang natin is only 2 factorial. Yung 2 factorial natin is yung identical letter A's. So simplifying this, pag simplify nyo ito, the number of permutations for the word Adelina is that you have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. Stop tayo dito. Because we can eliminate your denominator 2 factorial by this 2 factorial in your numerator. So divided by 2 factorial. Cancel out, cancel out, and then simplify this. So, try natin ha. Um, 
yung ating 6 times 5 is 30. So we have 30 times 7, that is 210. And then you adding 4 times 3, that is 12. So that is 12 times 210. So 0, 2, 4, 0, 1, 2. So the answer here is 2,520. 5, 2, so the number of permutation in the word Adelina is equivalent to 2,520. Kati number of permutations natin. So I hope na sa first example natin, natutunan nyo na kung paano gamitin or paano ba gumagana yung ating distinguish, distinguishable permutation. Sabi nga rito, it is a permutation with identical elements. So let's move on with the next example para mas ma-practice natin, di ba? So the next word is Erase lang muna natin. Let's have the word, the word, the word is parallel. Okay. Ito yung hinuhugutan ng mga, ano, mga sudyante. Ito yung mga lines na hindi natatagpo. Ewan ko ba, ba't sila humugut dito. So the word is parallel. And look at the word. The word is parallel. So, ang kanyang mga elements we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 elements yan, diba? 8 factorial yan. For the P, you have 1. Your A, meron tayong 1, 2. So, meron tayong 2, two letter A's. For R, meron tayong single R. So, what does it mean to 1? Yung L natin, that is 3. Yung ating letter E, that is equal to 1. So, given this um, checklist, Using the formula, the permutation is equal to 1, 2, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you have 8 factorial. Again, 8 factorial kasi meron tayong 8 elements over. Yung P mo is 1. So hindi mo na kailangan lagay yung 1 factorial. Yung A mo is 2 factorial. Okay. And for R, okay na yan. L, you have 3 factorial. So, simplify natin to. You have the permutation of 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 2 times 3 factorial. Bakit ko ginawa yung, ba't ko ginawang tunay nga na, 2 factorial? Ang 2 factorial natin na nawa is 2 times 1. Kaya siya naging 2. Okay? Don't, don't be confused, ha? Okay? So, dito, Cancel natin 3 factorial, 3 factorial. And as you can see, we can eliminate, we can simplify 2 and 4. 2 cancel na natin. Yung 4 magiging 2 na lang. So we still have this one. 8 times 7, that is 56. Okay, 56. And then 6 times 5, that is 30. So times 30 to. So this is 0. 3 times 6, that is 18. Carry 1. Okay. So 3 times 5, that is 15. Plus 1, that is 16. Tama? So, 1,680. But remember, meron pa tayo dito ng 2. Diba? 2. So, multiply it by 2. So, you have to multiply it by 2. So, 2. Ah, sorry. This is 0. 2 times 8. That will give you 16. Carry 1. 12. 13. Carry 1. 2. This is 3. So, the correct answer, the permutation, the number of permutation in the word parallel is equivalent to 3,360. So, I hope na sa first two examples natin, natutunan nyo na agad kung paano gamitin yung formula ng distinguishable permutation. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you a word problem wherein parehas lang case nila, pero word problems na siya. So, in item number 3, or in example number 3, we have here a word problem. So, it goes like this. Rhoda wants to plant 10 plants along the sidewalk in her front yard. So, she has three roses, four daffodils, and three lilies. Ano siya? Plantita. Kung <laughs> In how many distinguishable ways can the plants be arranged? So, kanina sa ating formula, we have the P is equal to N factorial over P factorial, Q factorial, R factorial, and so on. So, dito, 
um, una muna natin bilangin para makuha natin yung n factorial natin is kung ilan ba yung total ng halaman. Meron siyang 10 plants. So, ang ating n factorial is equal to 10. Okay? Tapos, yung 10 halaman na yun, meron tayong tatlong klase ng halaman. Meron siyang tatlong roses. So, meron siyang roses. So, meron siyang 3. Tapos, yung daffodils. is equal to 4. And then, for the lilies, is equal to 3. Ito pala yun, plants. Sorry. Ngayon, yung plants natin, yung total number of plants natin, siya yung magiging numerator natin. So, this will become E is equal to n factorial over, eto na yung naulit, di ba? Kanina sabi ko kanina, yung distinguishable permutation natin is meron siyang mga naulit na elements. Since meron tayong tatlong roses, that will be 3 factorial. At yung daffodils natin ay apat. So, 4 factorial. And number, yung lilies natin, meron tayong 3 Factorial. So, simplify natin to. It will give us um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4 factorial over 3 factorial, 4 factorial. And then, atong 3 factorial natin, simplify natin. That is 3 times 2 times 1. Tapos times 4 factorial. That's another 3 factorial natin. Times 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel natin itong 4 factorial. Yan. Okay. So maraming pa tayong pwedeng cancel dito. Okay. Ano ba ba? Ito. Yung 3 times 3, that is 9, di ba? 9. Cancel natin yung 3 and 3. Tapos yung 9 sa ibabaw. Simplify natin. Itong 2, we can eliminate 2 ha. 2 times 2. 4. So, ilimin natin ito. Ito muna. Yung 2, uh, wala ito magiging 3 na lang. Simplify natin. It will give us 10 times 8. That is 80. Okay, 80. Right? Times 7. 7 times 3. That is 21. So, 0, 8. Then, 0, 16, 0, 8, 6, 1. Tapos, meron pa tayong multiplirang 5. So, this is times 5. 0, 0, 40 yan eh. 34, 30, 34, 3, 5, 8. So, the correct answer here, or the number of distinguishable ways, kung paano natin i-arrange yung plants natin, is equivalent to 8,400 divided by, meron pa tayo itong denominator na 2 so divided by 2 that is 4,200 ito yung number ng ways meron tayo on how to arrange those plants na meron si uh, si Rhonda so again, I hope na natutunan niyo yung ating discussion about distinguishable permutation and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it at kung meron kang question about this solution pwede ka mag-comment sa ating comment section and lastly, kung meron kang requested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!